Hello everyone, Snipe Trading here. Um, today I'm going to go over my trading setup and my desk, desktop trading setup and my layouts. So a little background, um, I'm using Centerpoint Securities uh, as a broker and I have Hilltop Security as the um, clearing, clearing firm. Um, I use the desktop uh, Dask Trader Pro as my software trading software so let's get into my uh, desktop so my desktop layout i have uh, four monitors total um, i have three regular monitors and a tv monitor so um, my main monitor is where i mainly place my trades uh, the right one is mainly charts and uh, some percent gainers and percent losers and on the right, on the left is where I have like a Discord chat and um, uh, trade ideas data feed from YouTube. Um, right now, I'm, I don't have my own subscription, but I've uh, subscribed before, and uh, it gets kind of pricey when you're trying to trade a small account. Um, and on YouTube, there's a bunch of uh, st streamers uh, streaming the data feed, and I think everyone uses it pretty much the same momentum scanners every day so uh, why not just uh, uh, use the use their theirs I also have here uh, some post-it notes uh, for my trades setup uh, that to remind me of the trades uh, every morning okay so my main screen main, main monitor I have the level uh, or the minute chart uh, here, um, the day chart here, and the five minute or 15 minute chart here. Um, and pretty much uh, I, I like that to give an idea, okay, it's on a resistance here or whatever on the day chart, uh, something I'm not seeing in the minute chart. Um, so it's good to have uh, multiple time frames or um, to take a look at. Uh, on the right here, I have the level two. Um, so I have four rows of hotkeys. So it's split off as a long side here and the right, a lock short side here. And these values here are my risks. So I manage my risk by using these hotkeys. So if you can see, like if I want to go long uh, 310 here, when I click here, you can see that the price change. So like here, if I click here, 255, it changes 254. And then it'll it'll use the best uh, ask or best bid depending on if I'm hitting the ask or hit, hitting the ask here or hitting the bid here. It will calculate the best ask or bid and subtract it from the price that I click and then divide it by the my my risk amount. Uh, and then that will uh, automatically calculate the shares um, to enter. Um, and that, that's how I kind of manage my risk. So I, um, if, if you're going into a fast moving, uh, momentum stock and you don't have time to calculate that, um, this is uh, pretty good. Um, so on the right here is the time in sales. Um, so pretty much, uh, just tape read if it's uh, a lot of buy flowing through or a lot of sell flowing through. Um, I read the level two a lot, so kind of helped me on my trading. Uh, and on the here I have two uh, watch lists um, on the left here is kind of like my main watch list and on the right it's like okay what's running today that I want to just keep uh, my tab on uh, the top here is the spy so the overall market I want to know how that's doing or performing um, so when I get into a stock that um, is Closely following the spy, I would like to know how um, that's going to trend uh, together. Uh, this is my order order entry box, uh, my open position box, and then just uh, a close or open position here. And then this is my account info. Um, 
So on my second monitor on the right, I have um, from Das Trader Pro. Uh, their scanners aren't really great, but you can have this uh, market uh, view. Uh, and then I have four of these market view. Um, and then pretty much I click view and top list, and then I just check uh, one of these. So I have gainers and losers, and NYSC gainers and losers. So that's what you see here. So there's the uh, gainers for uh, NASDAQ and NYSE. Uh, this is the losers of uh, NASDAQ and NYSE. And it's pretty much uh, the percent, it's sorted by percent uh, uh, gainer, highest percent and highest percent losers. Uh, it's pretty, pretty good if you don't have any scanning tool um, since it pretty much shows uh, what most scanner shows. Um, and then I have here just a high low top ticker. So anything that's hitting low of day here, anything hitting high of day. Um, and then I have my short locate tool here. So pretty much uh, if I'm looking for a stock, I just enter my the symbol, uh, the amount of shares I want to, and then it'll pop up a price that um, it costs per share, and then I just locate it. So today I located 500 shares of OHRP, but I didn't use it. Um, uh, but you still pay for the uh, the cost, which was like three dollars, uh, 0.007 cents per share. Uh, and then I have down here is full eight charts, um, and this is just uh, either part of my watch list or or something I'm interested in watching. And pretty much right now, I'm only using uh, one level two. Um, so I'm just using one level two, one entry box. Uh, before I had uh, like two more level two uh, on my other screen, but I felt like I didn't use it as often um, since I only try to focus on one, one stock, one or two stock at a time. So it wasn't really beneficial and I thought it was taking up uh, more screen than helping me. But in the future, when I'm like multi-trading like a lot of stocks, it would be beneficial. Um, and on the left screen is what, yeah, my chat and uh, Discord chat and the trade idea scanner. Uh, and then in the future, I will, I haven't had the need to use use this yet, but in the future I will utilize this once I uh, pull up more screening or uh, any data feed or news. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching my trading setup. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. Thank you, bye.